Yo, what's up guys? Logan I Gaming here and welcome to FIFA 17 Career Battles episode number 9. And we are here with QPR. And I have some good news here. As you see in the league table, we have one game in hand on everybody else in the league. And we are in 7th place on 26 points. But the good news is Brighton, Norwich, Wigan, all three of those teams are one or two points ahead of us which means if we win this game against Brentford we go above them and if we can get two goals we go above Derby and if we can get five goals or four goals we go above Ipswich which puts us in to second place in the championship coming into our game I think against no Nottingham Forest who are now one place behind us on the same amount of points so let's get into this game against Brentford before we before we do get into our game, I have put Udegaard as the central attacking midfielder. I'm going to sub him off at half time. I put Embakoto as the striker, just trying out new things. Dominguez, Marino, central defensive midfielders. Of course, Sandro injured for two months. I can't remember. It's been a day since I filmed the last episode. But anyway, let's get straight into this match against Brentford. Corker intercepts the pass. Now Dominguez. Plays through Wishelet, Henry with a big touch there, and it goes all the way down the field. And QPR have a throw in, in Brentford's first third. Udegaard on the ball. Finds Wishelet inside the block, inside the box, who plays the ball across to Embakoto, who taps the ball into the back of the net, and 14 minutes in, it is 1-0 QPR. And that was a very easy goal, I'm not going to lie. Didn't have to try too hard for that one. Just I fake shot inside with Wizzelek and then just pass it to Embakoto who tapped it into the back of the net and 25 goals in the league so far. And if we can get another one against Brentford today and keep a clean sheet, we will. We will be third in the league. Oh, we won our last three matches. Oh, no, we haven't. Have we? I'm so confused right now. Oh, we have. But the last video I uploaded was episode number six. Udegaard crosses the ball in. Mar Marino, what was that? Come on, that could have been 2 0 there. That was horrible. Plays it forward to Hoffman. Cork are going to try and close him down here. Ball whipped in. Callas gets it straight to Dominguez. Oh, thank God for Smithies there. It could have been a goal for Brentford. Udegaard, Pulisic. She hasn't made too many runs today. Doesn't matter though, half time. And it is 1 0 QPR at Loftus Road. And Amber Koto putting the ball in the back of the net for our first goal of the game. And at this moment in time, I believe we are fourth in the league. So guys, at halftime, Martin Udegaard's going to come off for Jose Angel. Udegaard was very tired, like on red already. And now Dean with a throw in to Kake. Woods, back to Kake. McEachran. Oh, come on, Dominguez. McEachran given room, takes the shot. Oh, Smithy's had to make a good save there. And now McEachran whips the ball in. Judge heads it up in the air. And Cork are going to get it away to Embakoto. Robinson with a free kick finds Dominguez. Saunders wins the ball for Brentford. And now Hoffman has an opportunity to attack. Dominguez is the last defender and the 49 rated central defensive midfielder isn't going to be able to catch him. Crosses the ball in. Judge is there and he heads the ball in the back of the net. Ten minutes to go and Brentford have equalised. We can't draw this game. Come on. Oh. Come on. 1-1 one, one at full time. Oh, I was saying at the start of the game, if we could win 4-0, we would go second in the league. But we didn't even win. 1-1, one, one, final score. Let's get into our next game. So here we are, guys. At Nottingham Forest, away from home, can't remember the Nottingham Forest Stadium, but let's get this match underway in the championship. Ah, oh, Liat, Bentner, Kasami, Lika, oh no he's going to score, Smithies with a great save. And a corner kick given. Good, good save there by Wishelek. Oh, by Smith. 
Uh, by Smithies. Marino heads the ball out for another corner. Bentner nearly got his head to that. That could have been dangerous there. Oh! Man City and heads the ball onto the roof of the net, and I thought that was a goal there. I got really. I shat myself. Jesus. Use your pace. 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 Play in. Marino. Left foot. Pulisic. Silla. Yes! Eventually, the ball found the back of the net. Silla. I think with his weak rough. I don't know what foot he is. It's confusing. Marino had opportunity. Pulisic had an opportunity. Both of them blocked. And then Silla controls it with his right and smashes it into the bottom left corner. Leaving the goalkeeper no chance. He dived a bit too late. And Silla gets his third goal in the championship. 1-0 QPR. Vaughan. Liak. Is that, is that how you say him? Robinson. In Bakoto. He can fake shot here. Oh, he stopped running with me. Dominguez. Take the shot. Goes over. Go straight to Stojkovic. Half time, 1 0 QPR. Let's get into the second half. So, guys, at half time, Chris Cohen has come on for David Vaughan. And also, we made a substitution. Jose Angel has come on for Dominguez because Dominguez was looking a bit tired. Dominguez has better stamina than Martin Udegaard, though, which is a bit strange, in my opinion. Marino and Bakoto. Silla. And Bakoto. Fake shot. Come inside. Play through Silla. Takes the shot. Hits the post. And Kasami clears the ball. And Osborne going to chest it down. And passes it to Stojkovic. Wishalek gets past Traore. Ball into Silla. And Bakoto isn't making a run. And Stojkovic has to make a save. I'm probably butchering his name. Oh, no. Cohen. Jose Angle somehow ends up with the ball. And Kellas. The right back finds the ball on the right wing. Corker plays Pulisic the ball. But Mill's able to get it to Kasami who's going to get the ball away. Still make a good run. He does eventually. Is that onside? Oh, it doesn't matter. Stojkovic, Stojkovic makes the save. Pulisic runs straight into the defender there. And at full time, it is 1-0 QPR. We have defeated Nottingham Forest. Get in there. So, guys, I have some great news. Massimo Luongo is back from injury. Get in there. I'm going to be playing him in the next game. And Kayati wants to play. I do not care. We've gone down to 63 for some reason. We're fifth in the league. And we have a chance of going... Yeah, going second in this game. If we beat Norwich, we go at least third. And hopefully Brighton will lose. But let me just fix up this team. So guys, despite Luongo having a little plaster thing, I'm going to play him against Norwich in this home game. So let's get right into this game. I'm going to completely skip this team sheets. I'm really excited for this game, but I do not have much time left. So I'm just going to just skip through everything and see you in the game. No, not to him. Pulisic can't get the ball in the box. Luongo can. Back to Pulisic. And on his first game back, Massimo Luongo has got an assist in the first 10 minutes. Tete. Malumbu. Luongo's doing too much running. He's only just come back. Pritchard. No, 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 no. Jerome. Cameron Jerome. 1-1. One, one. Pulisic inside the box now. Pulisic, what a save from Ruddy. As if Malumbu tackled there by Anuha. And I do know that we can beat Norwich. We beat them earlier on in the season. Silla plays the ball through to Embakoto. Oh, Ruddy with a good save. Embakoto was going too fast. Couldn't stop himself and take the shot. Pinto. What did that say? Doesn't matter what it said. Don't score, please. Gorka, good tackle. Robinson. Marino. And Bakoto, Pulisic, 
got some people with him to help him. Fake shot inside. Finds Embakoto. Takes a shot. Ready? Yes! It's in half time! Yes! Came close to goalkeeper. Actually did get a touch on it. But I think it was a pretty good effort to do that much. Get in there! Ninth goal in the championship. Pritchard to Malumbu, and that's half time. Get in there. 2 1, half time. <sighs> Let's get into the second half. Half time. 2 1, QPR. Second half, still 2 1, QPR. Come on. Jerome. Tete. Don't play the ball three. Uh, no, Malumbu. Smithies with a good save again. He is the best goalkeeper. I love Smithies this game, this season. He has been just great. Martin with a header straight at Smithies. Oh, why did you... I was pressing A to head the ball away. Luongo! Oh, blocked by Basong. That could have been a great way to come back with a goal. Gives it straight to Martin, though. Silla didn't even attempt to get it, but it's full time. 2-1. Get in there. 2-1. I just want to skip through and see where we are in the league. It was a pretty even game in shots. But possession, they absolutely smashed us. Come on, where are we in the league? Uh, Brighton won. Darn. I think Derby are in the top as well. They won. So did Nottingham Forest. So I pretty much think they're on a third. What? But Derby won. Oh, okay, they're the same points. But did Wigan lose then? They must have lost. They've only lost twice, and one of those was to us. But we're third in the league now. And we're one point behind Villa and Brighton. That's great. Okay, guys, if you guys... Okay. No, let me just do that. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that button subscribe, as it really does help me out. I'll see you guys in... Episode number 10, the big 10-0. And I'll get back to you. Oh, renaud has gone up. He's our youth scout person. But if you go, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.